responsibility of roll sheets. Um, you are going to either pick an article off the back wall or grab an article from me. I've printed off some based on interests that I knew you guys had or things that I thought were interesting. Um, and then from that article, you're just kind of going to brainstorm, come up with possible interview questions for when we go next week on Friday, okay? Um, once you come up with at least five questions, then your interviewer is going to go to another group and ask that group your questions. Now, whether that group can actually answer your questions or not is irrelevant because, I mean, you guys all kind of have the same knowledge, right? So, you know, if you're looking at brain development in infants and the other group cannot answer those questions, that's fine. The purpose of this is to get interview practice in so that you don't, like, stumble and feel nervous like, oh, I've never interviewed anyone before when we go on Friday. The other thing is they can give you feedback on the types of questions you're asking and if they feel like, okay, that's clear what you're asking. Whether they can answer it or not, it's clear what you're asking of them and if they knew something they would able, be able to answer you. They can talk to you about your delivery, like whether you sound professional or whether you sound nervous or what sorts of things you might need to change. Um, for the people who are being interviewed, please give constructive feedback, not like, dude, that sucked, because that's not constructive. You didn't tell them what sucked. So um, just make sure that when you're giving feedback, it's constructive. I have uh, different sheets, so the interviewers will have one sheet so that they can reflect on the process, and then the people who are being interviewed will have another sheet. And then after we are through with that, you'll go back to your regular groups, talk about what went right, what went wrong, and then look back over your questions. Before you leave today, I'm gonna to want a copy of your five questions minimum um, that you are looking to ask for next week. And then when we come back together in our groups next week, we'll look back over the questions and see if that's still the direction you wanna go. If you're interviewing and you're like, dude, I don't know anything about this topic, I don't even know what I'm thinking as far as what questions I wanna ask, Maybe you need to redo your topic. You're not locked in just because it's written on paper. You can change it. There's whiteout and erasers and things like that. Okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing as soon as everybody gets back. I don't wanna start without them because we have like two massive groups going. Um, but I guess the other groups, if you wanna choose your article and start working on your questions, that's totally fine. <coughs> um, I have the articles I have up here. Um, I have lead poisoning effects on kids. I have what it's like to run a business during the Flint water crisis. So if you look at the economic effects, I have one about um, rashes. So if you look at the effects on skin and health. And that looks like all the articles that I got back. So those are the ones I have to choose from. And then there's all these articles that you guys have brought in and researched. So you can choose from any of those to help get your brains going on some questions you have about your topics, okay? Yeah. Questions about what we're doing, or? Is it okay if Kira and I enjoy doing this? Yeah, that's totally good. Will you um, just like redo that on your rolls sheet and then turn it into me? Obviously, okay. um, so for now, just grab your articles off the deck board or come see me for an article. Or you can look it up on your phone, that's totally fine, but just make sure we're on track with what we're doing. Right. Um, <coughs> we don't have very many up there, right? You what? Uh, for the one that I wasn't here. Uh, yeah, Wednesday. So do you have to do the essay part, or okay? Um, so you can either come during the second hour, or you can come after school tomorrow. But I can't stay after today because I have a meeting in class. Okay. But you also have study skills, right? You can do it with study okay. skills. So we can give it to you for study skills too. Okay, so you have environmental. Um, do you want to grab our club or do you want to look it up? I can just look it up because there's only one up there. Okay, look it up. Uh, or if you
you have any questions so, that you already have, like you don't need the article, it's just kind of to get your thought process going. Okay. Okay. So there's only half of you here, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe Ms. Schultz can join your group for today. <laughs> yeah, but she can help you get your ideas going, right? So what we're doing, Ms. Schultz, I don't know if you, you kind of worked in at the tail end of it. So what they're doing is they're coming up with five questions that they might want to use for the interview. <laughs> so when they talk to people, and then um, we are going to, whoever their interviewer is, is going to take the questions <laughs> and take them to another group and see if they can do something or they can do their questions. Will we get the information to come right here? Um, and then there's not too many environmental articles there, so if you use their phone or look something up, um, because they are looking at what happens to the plants when there's lead in the water. So if you guys want to look stuff up um, or come up with some questions, like what? I mean, what is your main concern with the plants? Like why? Why is this a topic that you picked? Okay, and if it's not something you're not still invested in, then you need to like reevaluate that and see if you want to do something different. Okay. That's how that hurts. So I know that you guys did this last hour, but did you? Did you finally? Yeah. I need to. Yeah, I because I was still reading. Well, I have a kid, so you can ask me questions about having a kid. Taking into consideration the behavioral issues rising from mud poisoning, do you think there may have been increased crime in prison rates in the next 15 to 20 years? Well, okay, so they say that it has this debilitating effect on the ability to process emotions and stuff, right? And so that's why they're saying people are going to go to prison. But I think that if there's enough awareness that there can be programs and different things to like offset that. So I don't know that it necessarily will lead to it. I can understand like the brain development aspect, but I also think that we can be proactive. No. I mean, there are ways to like absorb lead. So if you have, I've learned that if you have more vitamin B in your system or more iron or different kind of like nutrients in your diet, that'll offset it. But if it's caught later, then. Like separating the lead from. I mean, possibly. They're really fixing organs right now, so I don't want to say no, but yeah, I'm not like a big medical technology person, so that's a really good question. Do you have any infants in your life suffering from any children? Um, thankfully, we didn't have an abundance of blood in our water, so my son is a normal. Issues. Um, but I have encountered infants that have, and it's just. Um, they have skin rashes, and then they, because of the difficulty in processing emotions, a two year old is like more immature. Like, I don't know how two, like, two year olds are already difficult to deal with, but yeah, like there's more. Well, I mean, I didn't meet him until after, so I think I was more like normal. Yeah. But I think it was probably not good. Yeah. 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 And that was after the like oil pine tree. It wasn't after like the noticeable. Yeah. I would since 
You can't, you can't do it. 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 You can not do it 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 you can
Is it between the road and the sidewalk, or between the sidewalk and your house? It's like right in my front yard. That's weird. I wonder how they decide, like, between city and township, and like who owns what piece of property. Yeah, I say because uh, yeah, because I I don't know if my mom lived down near Detroit. It's kind of weird. Like some cities, you know. Right. So, but yeah, when they did her, it's kind of different. Well, maybe city and township are different. Cause Cause that, small. But, but her problem was too was. Like they was really on her yard. Like, oh. Like really on her yard. Yeah, our yard's pretty small, so I can imagine if they dug in ours and we can see what Ashley's question is. But the questions that we've been talking about, get some of those down for your interview when you switch, okay?